Hi there. So this brings us to question 4, which is actually the last problem for for this video. It says find the general solution of the given system. Now we are given two systems. The first system is a matrix form, while the first system is in normal form, that is um, the equation form, while the other system is in matrix form. So we are told to solve these two homogeneous linear systems. Now to solve them, so we would recall based on the video we did last, the first step, you have some sequence of steps which you have to follow, which I'm going to re-outline just to ground understanding of the first thing. So I'm going to start real quick by solving, solving the first one. So the first one we're giving the x dt equals this and the y dt equals this equals x plus 3y. So now to solve this the solution, so the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to rewrite this linear system in matrix form. So you're writing it in matrix form. So we have the left hand side which is a derivative x prime equals so we have 2 2 2 2 1 3 1 3 times x y. So it's be written in matrix form. So I wrote that in matrix form so I could compare it with the standard which is x prime equals ax. So from here I see that this is my this is my a here. So the second step is to find a. So my a equals 2 2 1 3. Now the next step is to find the agent values, the agent values of a. And then I said to find the agent values of a simply implies that you want to solve a minus lambda i equals 0. That's the determinant of this equals 0. So that's what we want to solve. So a minus lambda i equals is just going to be lambda subtracted from the diagonal entries. So you have 2 minus lambda, you have 2, 1, 3 minus lambda. So we equate it to 0. So this is what we want to solve. When we simplify um, what we have here, so what we're going to have is lambda squared minus 5 lambda plus 4 equals um, equals zero. That's what we're going to have. And then when we factorize this and solve this, we're going to have lambda 1 equals 1 and then lambda 2 equals equals 4. Now like I said in the last or the previous video, this they are aging values that are distinct. The two of them are distinct. And then since the two aging values are distinct, it implies that the general solution of the system should be of this format C1 K1 e to the power lambda 1 T plus C2 K2 e to the power lambda 2 lambda 2 T. So where lambda 1 is the first aging value and K1 is the corresponding aging vector and then lambda 2 is the second aging value and K2 is the corresponding aging vector. So I'm going to go ahead. I've already gotten the aging values so I want to find the aging vectors of each of these aging values. So to find the aging, val um, the aging vector it implies that you want to solve a minus lambda i times x equals 0. So I'm going to start with the first one that is for, for lambda 1 equals 1. Let's find the corresponding aging vector. So I want to solve a minus lambda i x equals 0. So for lambda equals, uh, equals 1, so what we would have is so a minus lambda, wherever we see lambda, we're going to represent this. Lambda here is 2 minus 1, 1. 3 minus 1, 2. So that's that's what we're going to do the substitution. And then what we have is 1, 2. You have 1, you have 2 times your x, which is x, y, equals, equals 0, 0. So this is all we have. And then we said to solve this, we reduce this, we will reduce this. So when we will reduce that, what we would have is 1, 2, 0, 0. And then your x, your y comes under equals 0, equals 0, 0. So that's, that's what you have. And then we write this in um, an equation format. So we have x plus 2y equals 0. That's all we have. And then what we would observe is that in this equation here, we have just one free variable. Now the free variable here is y. So you're going to start by setting, so to find the basis of the agent space, you should start by setting y 
equals 1. So when y equals 1, then x equals, when we bring this to the side, we have negative 2y. That's going to be negative 2. So my x equals negative 2. So I've been able to find my k1. My k1 is my x, negative 2. My y is my y is 1. So that is for lambda equals lambda equals 1. So let's check for lambda equals 4. So now for lambda 2 equals 4, a minus lambda i times x equals 0 is the same thing as, so wherever we have lambda, we put 4 there, and we have negative 2, we have 2, 1, negative 1 times x, y. So this equals 0, equals 0. Then to solve this, we said we will reduce this matrix here. So we will reducing the matrix. We have one, a negative one. We have zero, zero. Then we have x, y equals zero, zero. Then at this stage, after you've done the row reduction, we write the matrix. We write the matrix in equation formats. So we have one times x, x negative one times y, negative y equals zero. And then what you observe is that we look at this matrix here, the free variable, the free variable is y. So since the free variable is y, you could set y to anything you like. So but do not set it to zero because when you set it to zero, you're gonna have zero and then you have x equals zero, which is a trivial solution, which is not what we are looking for. We need a linearly independent solution to the previous one. So we have if we set y equals one, then our x equals equals y which is equal to 1 so x equals x equals 1 and then we already go to the next eigen vector which is 1 1 1 so corresponding to lambda equals 4 we have this eigen vector and then same thing to this corresponding to lambda equals 1 we have that eigen vector so now my general solution so the general solution is going to be x equals c1 into the first eigen vector e to the power t then plus c2 the next eigen vector e to the power 40 and then that completes um, the problem